Hey Kim fam, welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Kim. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. And if you're returning subby, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have part three of our three part series. So this is the finale right here. You're seeing part two and you just saw part one. So we have already cut our hair. We have done the six design where you braid and sew it together. And now we are just completing the rest of the hairstyle so this is just going to be super quick super easy um the main star of the show was our number design in the back so i'm going in now and i am just doing some freestyle braids um curved parts and i'm kind of just doing it around that six um because that's what we're left with now that we have placed that six already there that we've anchored our style and we're creating the rest of it um around it so i'm going in and i'm just doing them randomly honestly you don't have to like copy um the same way that i'm doing it we're just going to add about five or six braids at the top and we're going to add some singles at the bottom so i'm going in and i'm taking out the end i didn't do a large portion in the back i just wanted like two rows two smaller rows um so this is how i sectioned it out from ear to ear as you can see it's a, a thinner section so i'm going in now and i'm breaking that section up into two horizontally um, and then I'm gonna work on those from there okay so we're going in with our trusty shine and jam the yellow obviously as you can see I'm trying to finish this one up so I'm adding it to our part and I'm going in with uh, my rat tail comb just to clean everything up so that when we are braiding everything looks neat if you are looking for a rat tail comb you like this one whatever the case may be I will have the um, information for it linked in the description box below so you can look into it get your hands on one if you need one um, but I do appreciate this one it has that little extra piece at the front and it just makes parting so much easier so much quicker and so much neater the name of the game at this point is just detangling detangle 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 so make sure that you're going in even if it seems a bit excessive you want to make sure that you use a comb a brush and anything else to make sure that the hair is in perfect shape to braid so I'm gonna go in with my goodie Alchus elastics these come in a pack of 500 in this cute little bag um, I get them at Walmart again linked in the description so I'm going in and I'm just keeping with the same curved lines and I'm parting these into three I'm going to be putting my Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. This is the leave-in. This is a bottle from the older collection. It's the same product, just a different look to the bottle now. Um, and I'm adding a bit of that to the hair just to keep it hydrated and to maintain the style. And when we're out of the style, the hair still retains its length. So once I do that, I'm going in to work through the uh, gel that I already put on the roots. And then I'm just going to braid. I'm not putting a braid in the beginning of the hair. I'm just going to put them in the ends. You can put them in the beginning if you prefer, but I kind of like the flat look that you get when you don't put an elastic in the beginning of the braid. And then just continue to work your way down the braid. Um, add any product that you need as you go. You can add a little bit of your um, curling cream. You can add your gel. You can add whatever you'd like. Um, just make sure that the ends are properly taken care of because that's where breakage and split ends happen and we want to make sure that during this style the hair is actually still being treated and it is actually doing its job and being a protective style helping not only for the hair to grow without being manipulated and moved but also helping to retain the length because that's most important our hair can grow all at once it grows every day but if we aren't retaining the length if we aren't doing things to actively ensure that the length is being retained and the hair is healthy then it's kind of pointless you know so I'm going again again. Um, we've done two at the bottom. I believe the second row will be three. And I'm just braiding it down and making sure that the hair from the top um, section isn't in it. You wanna make sure that the parts are looking neat. They're looking nice. I mean, as the bottom row, at the back of the hair it's probably not going to be seen as much but still you want to make sure that you know you do your best to ensure that the style looks as nice as it can for as long as it can because i just cut his hair the ends are extra rough so make sure you use your elastics if you don't think you need them don't worry about them so as you see here i am scraping scraping the sides to make sure that i get every penny of my money's worth from this shine and jam container so again, I've gone in and I've added to the 
part section and I'm just going to go in with my comb and I'm going to clean it up because we want to make sure whatever we're doing looks super, super neat. So I'm sectioning out the second row, but let me be honest with you guys, the way I struggled with this, okay? Absolutely struggled with it. I was trying to make a zigzag soup set, and it was just, it was just not zigging, and it was not zagging, it was not s it was just looking weird. So I cut it down, but trust me, it took me forever to get these three parts sectioned. So I've sectioned them out. And I'm going in, I've added again my leave-in onto the hair, which is the um, Honey Hydration, Honey Hydrate. And then I'm adding the gel to the roots. I'm combing through and making sure everything is worked in. Again, I also do use the end of the rat tail comb you see um, at some point to lay the hair down, kind of mold the hair into the position that I would like it to be in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and braid. Keep in mind, we wanna have these braids lay as flat as possible. So kind of position yourself downward when you're doing it so that the hair just falls down. It doesn't stick up, it doesn't stick out um, because it's a little bit different than when we put the elastic in the root and then start braiding. So keep, your, keep everything going downward um, so that the hair kind of is trained to stay down and it lays down flat from the middle of that section instead of just sticking up in any which direction. So I went in and I added the, um, the gel to the ends just to make sure that it curls up a little bit. This is the, the section in which I struggled. I apologize, it wasn't before, it was here. But like, I made it look cute, like I just did like a little one, no, I was there forever just like questioning my sanity trying to make this thing look like uh, a little swoop but I finally got it so <laughs> I've gone in and I made this section into four instead of being three um, I just figured it looked nicer um, it was more proportioned when I did it with four braids instead of three braids but again it's up to you whatever works your child's head may be a little bit smaller than Cam's maybe a little bit larger depending on their age or just depending on the size of their head some kids got a bigger head like us you know we, we're on the big side um, so we went with four instead of three All right, so I'm going in with my Denman dupe. I absolutely love this brush. I do have it linked in the description. I said in the last video that I committed to buying an actual Denman brush. Cannot find it in my hair store to save my life, so I might have to get it online. Um, but that is coming. That is one of the next um, purchases that I need to make. I just need to find it first. Um, but again, I do recommend either or the actual Denman or the dupe that we have again linked in the description i do not get paid for any of these uh recommendations that i give to you guys i'm literally just letting you guys know the exact products um, and tools that we use to create our styles all right so we are working our way to the front again these are the bigger braids they are about five super easy super quick to do make sure that again keyword detangle ding 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 you want to make sure everything is easy to work with and super combed through and everything like that and you also want to make sure that even like especially at the front of the hair everything is still neat so as you see here i'm going back in and i'm just cleaning up just the little pieces that kind of make the part look a little bit off um, when you have a part that isn't just a straight line you want to make sure it's as neat as possible because if not then it just looks like you don't know how to part and you just threw something together um, so the littlest pieces make a difference so go in as, as much as you can like don't don't like you know sit there for 10 minutes just obsessing over it but if you can take that extra minute or two and just make sure everything's just a little bit um, cleaned up so I've gone in now, I've put in all my products, I've worked everything through, and I'm going to use my comb to help me scoop the hair into the braid as I braid. I wanna make sure that everything's into the center of this braid, of the part of the braid or the section of the braid, um, and everything is going in neat and flat. Keywords, neat and flat. We don't want anything lumpy, we don't want anything looking wonky, we want it to look purposeful, and whatever we do, we want it to look like it's supposed to look that way. 
so this is a very easy style it's a very quick one so it's nothing intricate but it, at the same time we still want it to look decent so i am using the comb you can use a comb a brush you can use your finger whatever works um just kind of get all the hair together i like to work away from the perimeter so as you can see there is a little bit of space there i could have centered that more but i don't want the braid to sit right at the edge of his hair um because i want it to be able to breathe and i want it to not be too tight so i did move it back just a little bit that is something to keep in mind again if you rather it be more centered more to the front that is your own prerogative but that's just the reason why i have it pushed back a little bit so i'm gone in i've continued to braid down the um the length of the braid i've detangled i'm going to add a little bit of product because as you can see it's a little bit dry i did think at first that the reason why his ends were always like dry or whatever was because he had split ends i don't think that's the case because as you can see i literally just cut his hair um i just think it's like i thought before just his hair type the porosity um that's just how it is once i braid his hair and i take it out um his hair is very moisturized it, it holds that retention of the shape of the braid very well um and it's just hydrated so it's just his hair it's just kind of how it works so don't like beat yourself up too much if you think oh my gosh my little one's hair the ends are so bad blah 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 if you know that you don't have heat damage if you know you're regularly taking care of their hair and you're using products that are good for their hair it's most likely just their hair type um, and there's not much that we can really do about it aside from just continuing to maintain their hair, take care of it, keep it healthy and keep it styled. It's still so weird to me sometimes to see how different the curl patterns are. Um, even when it, the hair is stretched like this in the front of his hair compared to the back of his hair and I really had to take it in and I feel like that's the same with my hair. My hair is a lot longer in the front and then um, more tight in the back so I guess that's maybe where he got it from or maybe that's just regular. I don't know um, but it is crazy to see that his hair is a lot um, looser in the front and tighter in the back. Is that something you've noticed with your little ones? Is it maybe the opposite and it's tighter in the front, looser in the back? Or are you guys just lucky and blessed and have one curl type, one curl pattern all the way through and you don't have to worry about differences throughout their hair? So because this was his birthday hairstyle, we took a hairstyle out and redid his hair pretty quickly. So I think his scalp is a little bit tender and that's why here you're going to see um, that he's kind of reacting to it. It's a little tight and then he kind of, you know, has a moment with it. And I totally understand that. It's the middle of the hair um, and I'm just like going at the scalp, you know, as as tight but untight as possible because you want the braid to look good but you also don't want to be too tight on their scalp um, but that is something to be aware of if you're taking styles out and redoing their hair braided back to back like really quick turnaround you might find a little bit more of a push from them because their scalp is going to be very tender from whatever style was just in so you've taken a style out you've washed their hair and now you're going back in and manipulating it again it can cause a little bit of, um, of a disturbance to them. So be mindful if your kid's giving you a little bit of a push, a little bit of a hard time when you're braiding. It might just be the fact that their scalp is a little tender at the moment. Okay, you guys know the one for symmetry when I'm braiding. I like to have whatever's on one half on the other half. The difference here is because we have the six in the middle of his hair and the six isn't something straight, it's kind of a little bit more on one side than the other, we have this one braid that isn't going to be seen on the other side. Um, it's just kind of filling in the gap between the previous braid and the six. So this is not on the other side of the six. On the other side of the six, we just have two big braids um, or three big braids, whatever the case may be. So I just wanted you guys to realize that if you're trying to replicate the exact way that I um, braided, like my exact braid pattern, this will not be on the left side. It's only on the right side that we have this smaller portion.
we had so much to get done for his birthday that I honestly barreled through this hairstyle as quickly as I possibly could. Not much thought given to it. It's kind of just a random put together thing. I just really wanted something to uh, accentuate the six. So after we finished that right side, like I said, I continued on the left side and I'm going in with some beads. I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like to add the beads. Um, I've been asked before about adding accessories to the hair. So I go in and I bend the end of the hair, kind of just um, wrap it over, just like kind of like a bow or a, a loop. Um, and I push that through the braid. Now there are braid hooks or bead hooks bead clips bead sticks i don't even know what they're called honestly uh, i don't even think i could use one i've just always done it like this when i when i add beads to hair since i've been a kid so it's just easier for me but if you do find it easier to use the stick and the hook and the thing that they sell now by all means but if you don't have that and you want to know how to get it how to get the hair or how to get the bead onto the hair this is the technique that I do. Once I get the beads on, depending on how many I want to use, I usually go to minimum. I then take the hair from the bottom, as you can see here, and I'm going to wrap it over the top of that bottom braid and get it to the top of it. And I'm going to add my elastic and just ensure it's secure. Um, make sure when you're doing this, you're not lumping the elastic over itself. You want to actually uh, wrap the elastic so that it's beside itself or on top of itself like depending on how you're looking at it you just want it to be really flat so that and flushed so that that top braid that top bead can then go over it and everything looks in unison you don't see um, the elastic and where you tied it all up so once you've done that and you've added as many beads or as little beads as you want to or no beads at all, I'm going back in with my Kusa 100% Indian Hemp Hair and Scalp Treatment and I'm going to add that to the scalp. Again, his hair does get a little bit dry, especially in that like middle, like super middle section. I don't see it as much anywhere else. It's just the middle. But once I'm done, this is what we're looking like. We have our sixth braid in the back for his sixth birthday. Um, this was just a really kind of put together style. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed our series. If you have not seen them already, you can go back and um, find the playlist for our series and you will see how I cut his ends, how I did this six, and then this video you've already seen. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you like and subscribe. If you haven't already, share this video with your friends and family. Hit us up in the comment section below if you have any questions comments or concerns and you can also find us on social media everything is at keeping up with cam see you in the next one bye